you know, I mentioned how we're going to have a part that's sub five watts per core. Go back five years ago, that would have been a phenomenal mobile product, right? Yeah, right. So what you're seeing is you're seeing that just relentless focus on power efficiency where every single best practice of what we had in notebooks before has now been brought to the server space. And, and that's where if you go beyond mobile and where ARM has naturally sat for the last few years in cell phones, that's where you know folks have described they want to take that next quantum leap, which is, well, we've taken a lot of things from the mobile space in x86 and brought it into servers, and now these folks want to take some of the advances from ARM in the mobile space and bring that into uh, the server arena as well. It's interesting. Uh, in AMD, obviously, is selling into a lot of use cases and a lot of different applications. Um, one, of course, is the you know traditional enterprise. Um, where you've got a data center supporting hundreds and hundreds of, of applications and maybe thousands or even tens of thousands of, of users. Um, those enterprise CIOs, they don't even see the power bill. I mean, probably 85% of them anyway don't see the power bill. But this new emerging set of, of applications, everybody's talking about power. Can you talk about sort of the differences that you're seeing in your customer's customer base and the trends in that end market? Yeah, I think that that is a, that is a fair point to acknowledge. It. A lot of the enterprise customers, the IT manager and the data center manager isn't the same as the facilities manager. So yeah, they don't necessarily see the bill. But it's just so much more apparent today uh, for some of the other reasons because you can't enlarge a data center because you can't grow out of it because you're grandfathered into the physical space. Uh, when folks can't scale and bring more servers into the data center, the question is asked why, and when the answer comes back power, many more people are now made aware of it. Then if you look outside of the enterprise space and if you look into the Web 2.0 customers, these are folks that are doing things so radically different in the data center. They're aware of every aspect of their business model, and it starts with power, where I know folks point at that and say, the servers are disposable, electricity is my biggest cost and headache. Yeah, that's that's a server breaks, quote. throw it away. Great quote. That's great. And that's totally true. I mean, people don't realize it's one of those creeped costs, costs that's creeped up on the traditional enterprise. That's right. And, you know, the pods that HP has certainly a solution. But, I mean, it has to it has to move. And to me, it's a no-brainer that the AMD, I mean, the AMD vision has to tie in with ARM because at the end of the day, it is about density and power. That's right. Because the cloud's not going away. That's Storage right. is going to be <laughs> not going away either. We talk about solid state and uh, integration of uh, disk it's really an interesting mindset, though, where you know the traditional data center thinks, oh, you know, or data center manager, data center, it's cost, 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 and these emerging customers are looking at it as a profit center, aren't, aren't they? Yes, they are. And I think e even if you, if you once again, you break it apart from like enterprise customers to some of the way the Web 2.0 customers think about their data centers, you used to hear people refer to, well, this is our, you know, Akron, Ohio data center, <laughs> right? And they would like give a name and that's, you know, that's the place they would take you to. Um, but you hear the Web 2.0 customers, they talk about our data centers, right, because they're plural, because they're evolving, they're elastic, they're all across the globe, they're 24-7, they follow the sun, and each one of them is just as important as uh, the previous one. It's just a constant expansion. Where does that constant expansion p take place? In the pursuit of the cheapest electricity that they can find, right, back to that cost of electricity. So do you see a re-engineering, okay, let's get back now to some of the things, that what you're teasing out basically is a, a mindset around designing, you mentioned system level kind of thinking, um, which what you're kind of referring to. Yes. Um, we also see the trend of this announcement is purpose built. I mean, they talk about it, they don't say it. They said it, and they might have said the word purpose built. Um, they said it on the cube. But you're seeing purpose built. We saw Oracle Open World, Larry Ellison basically sure. purpose building his solutions. Um, is this a free fundamental new operating system? Is the data center now fundamentally re-engineered operating environment? Um, I think you're just looking at the platforms differently, and you're looking at the entire platform aimed at the power efficiency, and that's where uh, products that we have coming to market, we don't look at just the CPU. Yes, we bring in some of the best mobile power efficiency features. We bring in C6 state. Previously, that was a sleep state only used in our notebooks, now used in our server. We look at the memory that we put down on our platform, supporting ultra-low voltage DIMMs of 1.25 volts. It's the best power consumption for memory. You have to think about every aspect of your platform, and that's the announcement you're seeing from HP today, is they're looking at the complete platform view. They're giving us those requirements on platform, and we're incorporating that into our AMD Opteron roadmap as well. Beautiful. So when you talk about to data Beautiful. center managers, they talk about you know, there's no one thing. You got to do a lot of little things, and many, many, there's this laundry list of things they have to clean up. But 
but processors consume a lot of power. I mean, I mean, it's it's got to be well over half of the the computer equipment is is, is CPU. Is that fair? Or is that uh, not not as heavy anymore. Not as heavy okay. anymore. That's where things like memory do consume much more. Because if you look at what we did to bring out new levels of power efficiency, dual core to quad core to six to twelve to sixteen core. Yep. So you're st- doing all that in the same thermal design point. So now you have 16 cores in that same design point where we used to have one or two before. So there's the power efficiency scaling that you're getting by that benefit. Now what does happen though with that is folks need as much memory per core, so the amount of memory put in a system. Mm. So that's why it's so relevant that we look at the ultra uh, low voltage dims to go along with that. So that's part of the uh, scaling equation. So it is a puzzle. It, it is. It's together. It's My it final is. question um, is more around your history at AMD as a company, you got certain supplier relationships. Now with this kind of architecture, you have to have collaboration with these ecosystems. And we, we're not what you guys know about ecosystems, but the ecosystem is changing or seems to be changing. What are the implications to the ecosystem? We're going to hear from uh, Mike Kendall on the Pathfinder um, and, and our next guest. But talk about the ecosystem. How is it changing? Um, obviously, rapid innovation on, this, on the product cycle. Is there different elements involved? And we heard, you know, non- CPU intensive. So, can you just share your your vision around the ecosystem that you're sure. dealing with and some of the changes? Sure. So, one of the reasons I said you have to monitor, and it's great to watch the ecosystem evolve, is folks are looking at things like way more efficient power uh, power delivery. So, everything from the electrical department, I mean, the electric company, all the way into the data center, the power conversion, the power supplies, the entire food chain to make sure you're getting maximum efficiency. This is putting more focus on that. So, that's going to bring out new innovation. That'll bring out new breakthroughs. So, we have to participate with the power supply vendors, the UPS vendors, conversations with the electrical companies. So, it's that kind of ecosystem from the most basic electrical perspective. And then, obviously, there's all the thermal extraction and the cooling implications that you get to follow as well and make sure that you're following along on those requirements and understand what trends are going to happen in uh, power extract, uh, thermal extraction. So, true or false, then, final, uh, final, final question, true or false? This is instrumental to the future of cloud computing. Absolutely true. Okay. Great. Right. Pat Patla, VP at uh, AMD, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you. Excellent. Okay. Thanks.